Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the horizontal asymptote of a rational function. There are three cases that we need to remember in finding the horizontal asymptote. In case number one, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is zero. In case number two, if the degree of the numerator and the denominator are equal, the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the leading coefficient, that is a over b. And in case number three, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. So let's take the first example. On number one, f of x equals one over x. In our given, we do not have a variable on the numerator. Therefore, we can say that the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. Our horizontal asymptote is zero. On number two, f of x equals seven over x minus five. Just like in number one, we do not have a variable on the numerator. Then, our horizontal asymptote is zero. What about the number three? What is the horizontal asymptote for number three? f of x equals 7 over x squared minus 16 minus 7. If you are going to simplify 7 over x squared minus 16, the horizontal asymptote is 0. But we have minus 7. Therefore, our horizontal asymptote is 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Number 4. f of x equals 2x minus 3 all over x minus 16. Number 4 falls on case number 2 because the degree of the numerator and the denominator are equal. Therefore, our horizontal asymptote is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient for numerator is 2 and the leading coefficient for the denominator is 1. Therefore, 2 divided by 1, our horizontal asymptote is 2. How about a number 5? Go ahead and find the horizontal asymptote for number 5. Number 5, f of x equals 12x minus 6 all over 3x plus 4 plus 5. So this falls on case number 2 because we'll have numerator and the, the exponent of the numerator and denominator are equal. Therefore, we have 12 divide by 3 plus 5 12 divide by 3 is 4 plus 5 therefore our horizontal asymptote is 9 on number 6 f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3 number 6 falls on case number 3 because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. But if the degree of the numerator exceed the degree of the denominator by exactly 1, we can say that we have an oblique asymptote. Now, how do we find oblique asymptote? To find oblique asymptote, we just simply divide the numerator and the denominator and if we have a remainder, we just simply disregard the remainder. Now, let's find the oblique asymptote. For number 6, x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. Let us divide x squared plus 5x plus 6 by x plus 3. x squared divided by x is x. Then multiply x times x is x squared, x times 3, 3x. Then subtract, so this is 0. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Bring down 6. 2x divided by x is 2. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Then we subtract, so we get 0. Therefore, our oblique asymptote is an equation that is 
y equals x plus 2. What about the number 7? f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 all over x squared plus 4. So as you can see, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are equal. Then our horizontal asymptote is the leading coefficient of the numerator that is 2, denominator that is 1. We simply divide 2 over 1. Our horizontal asymptote is simply 2. Number 8. f of x equals 5x raised to 4 minus 6x plus 2 over 7x minus 4. Number 8 also falls in case number 3 because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Therefore, there is no horizontal asymptote and there is no oblique asymptote because the degree of the numerator exceeds by more than 1 on the denominator. Therefore, we can say that there is no horizontal asymptote. Go ahead and try number 9. What is the horizontal asymptote? Number 9 falls on case number 2. Because the highest exponent is 2 on the numerator and the highest exponent on the denominator is also 2. Therefore, our horizontal asymptote is the leading coefficient of numerator and denominator. That is 2 over negative 5. So our horizontal asymptote is 2 over negative 5. What about number 10? Go ahead and try to answer the horizontal asymptote for number 10. f of x equals 8x cubed plus 5x all over 4x cubed minus 2x plus 1 plus 5. So we have the same degree of exponent on numerator and denominator. So we simply get the leading coefficient that is 8 over 4. Then we add 5. 8 over 4 or 8 divided by 4 is 2 plus 5. Our horizontal asymptote is 2 plus 5 is 7.